Now, if I carry on, I click new. I can add more raw materials into my bill of material. That means in order to create an ebook, I need a case black, case white, the RAM 32, the RAM 64, and the LCD ebook cover. These are the ingredients of my final goods. However, it would be perhaps not feasible for me to have an ebook that has both cases or both RAMs. It doesn't make sense. So what I need to do, I need to group these items into a configuration group. Please make sure that you understand the difference between the configuration column, which is the second column from left, and the configuration group column. There are two different things. The first one, configuration, is a product dimension. The configuration group is not a product dimension. It's the way you group your products together for the configuration rule. So let's go ahead and create a configuration group. One of the things that you notice here, out of all the products that I've added it, the default warehouse have been already identified. In production courses, we talk about certain products don't have to have a warehouse for a lean manufacturing, let's say because you don't know where you're going to make it. But this is outside of our scope. In our scenario, we need to have a default warehouse. Why? This is specific product, 32 gig RAM, doesn't have any default warehouse. The reason was, intentionally, I did not specify the default warehouse on that product. This shows default settings helps data entry, makes it quicker. But if you don't have it, then the end user has to identify what warehouse. But let's go ahead and fix it for future demonstration. If I select the 32 gig RAM on the item number and go to the view details, you notice that it opens up the detail page of product information. Quick navigation is very handy within Dynamics AX. Now in this scenario, all I need to do, go to the manage inventory and set up the default site and warehouses. As you notice, previously I set up all this as part of my other products, but not for this one. So I just wanted to show you what would be the ramification for it. Now, after I did this for future, I don't have that issue and then everything gets populated. I continue and I add the ebook cover since ebook cover requires a color. You notice that I can say which color am I going to use in this bill of material. Let's say the first version only uses black. Or you could have a combination of both. It depends on your rule. I try to make it as simple as possible. Later on, we talk about how to deal with the measurement and waste. And of course, we're going to talk about how many is required. This is a very simple bill of material, obviously. And I'm going to use the different products later on. And I'm going to show you exactly what would be the waste and measurements and switch to another company perhaps and use the different products in order to talk about waste and measurements there which makes more sense because right now it's very straightforward i'm not going to have any waste on the ram i'm not going to cut anything any corner from the ram i'm not going to bend my cases they're all pre-built so i'm just going to get it and assemble it here on the configuration group though you notice that we're going to set up few elements I like to group the cases together. Currently, I don't have any configuration group. One of the options is to type in the name and tab over. Automatically, this form will appear. Sometimes when you type it in and tab over, you probably see no form will appear. It has appeared, but probably has been hidden behind the form. Make sure you click on the Dynamics X icon on your taskbar and make sure that that form is not hidden. Otherwise, you won't be able to continue with that form. Anyhow, as we see here is the description is asking me. Usually this description would be a question you're asking somebody who is going to configure this product. So I say, choose a case color. And then since this now has been created, I'm assigning it to the second case. I do the same thing for the RAM. I don't need to specify anything for the LCD or the cover. I say, choose the RAM size, let's say. So depending on which one you're going to pick is automatically is supposed to pick another product for me. So I'm grouping all the RAMs and all the cases together. So step number one is to group the product. After this, everything has been approved, activated. I don't have any restriction on the quantity or dates. It's specific for this site, site number one. You do have an additional feature here that allows you to have the product change management, which has been added in R3. We will discuss that in future demonstration in case you do have any specific requirements to changing a product or changing a bomb. You can create a case and use the case management within Dynamics AX. I do have different demonstration for that. We talk about bomb calculation later on. I close this form and now it's time to go about and discuss the configuration route. The configuration route, literally, it says which specific sets of products are dictating the rule for the other. Like imagine,